We've had our Audi A7 Sport back for a little over four months now, and we're beginning to settle down to the realities of life with the luxury four-door coupe. While that may sound a little ominous, it's not really. Things are generally going well. It just took us a while to get over the sheer opulence of the thing. It was specced as a showpiece for the Johannesburg International Motor Show, and as a result is fitted with just about every conceivable piece of crowd-pleasing kit, from four-zone climate control to heated rear seats, massaging front seats, and a 70,000 Rand B&O sound system. So, now that we're used to having those luxuries as part of our everyday motoring life, we can get down to assessing the A7 without distraction. Our initial concern about the fuel consumption is still there. Our first few tanks didn't get us further than around 400 kilometers, with an average consumption of around 15 liters per 100 k's. We've covered just over 7,000 kilometers now, and things seem to be loosening up. The average consumption is down, but there's also a noticeable difference in the power delivery, which is now more instant than it was initially. 220 kilowatts and 440 newton meters from the supercharged V6 means the A7 has decent power to match its more than decent spec level. But it hasn't been all perfect though. The reversing camera is supposed to be activated along with the park distance control every time the car is put in reverse, but it doesn't always happen that way. The PDC works faultlessly, but the camera sometimes fails to switch on. Another concern is an occasional rattle that can be heard from the plastic cover over the head-up display projector, which lives inside the dashboard roughly behind the instrument cluster. It can only really be heard when the sound system is off, and it only seems to happen when the cabin is at a certain temperature. Not exactly the end of the world, but certainly not expected from an Audi, especially one at this price. All in all though, the performance of the big coupe is good, and we're enjoying our time behind the wheel. We'll be keeping a close eye on its minor gremlins though, we'll let you know if they develop into major faults.